and in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to do the half slide in transition effect. And if you like this type of tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. You'll need two clips to make this work. The first clip can be just about anything. In my sample here, I used a drone shot of a newly built container market in downtown Toronto. The second clip will be the one you'll need to transition in halfway. I used one of the containers at the market with the logo on it as the object I'll be transitioning in. I think buildings and landmarks will work really great as the transitioning clip. When filming this portion, make sure the object is out of shot first, then slowly move in to reveal it. I shot mine on the gimbal, but this can definitely work handheld as well. I also shot mine in 120 frames per second so that I can slow it down in post. Now that you have your clip shot, let's load up Final Cut Pro. Drag your first clip to the project timeline. You can slow down your footage or add the speed ramp effect to it just to add a more dramatic look. Next, drag your second clip on top of the first one. I recommend doing the speed ramp effect and adding slow motion to this clip as well, but it's totally up to you. To do this, select the clip and choose automatic speed. Then press R on your keyboard to bring up the range selection tool and select the portion of the clip you want to speed up. I suggest selecting the part where the object is close to the middle of the frame. Now look for the Draw Mask tool in the Effects tab and drag it on the top clip. Start placing the key points when the object starts to show. Click on Invert Mask, add some feathering, then place a keyframe on that. Also place a keyframe on Transforms and Control Points. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard to go to the next frame, and continue to move and adjust the key points to line up with the object coming in. Do this until the end of the clip or close to it. Once you're done that, press B on your keyboard to bring up the blade tool. Then cut off the part on the top clip where you'll want your fade in of the other half of your clip to begin. Make sure the cutoff clip is lined up properly with the first bottom clip. Now copy the last clip and place it on top. Delete the draw mass adjustments for the bottom clip. Now add in a transition piece like cross dissolve in between the two bottom clips. This is the part where you can get creative and add different types of transitions. I've tried it with several different transitions and they all seem to work really well. Make sure to try some of the free ones that I gave you guys in my earlier videos. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Add in some sound effects, color grade your footage and you're good to go. I'd love to see the work that you guys have been creating using my tutorials, so make sure to leave a link in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to check them all out.